In very ancient times, the world had a very different appearance than it does now. The grass grows as high as the sky, but the trees only reach knee height. At that time, there were no eyes, but on the contrary, it had a wonderful baritone voice. In addition, he is not proud and complacent because he has a good voice, but only focuses on practicing from morning to night. No one can sing better than him. Because it was so sad, it sang to praise the sunlight, to praise the glittering dewdrops, to praise the colorful beauty of flowers and the stars that when night came, lit up lanterns in the deep blue sky. In short, it sings the praises of what it can never see with its eyes. He is truly a unique singer. The audience listening to it sing all lamented, without the snake and number 39. S sexy songs, we probably wouldn't and hash 39. T know how beautiful this world is. Only the snake doesn't and hash 39. T know. It only imagines the world, and perhaps that is the reason why, according to the snake and number 39, s imagination, this world is so beautiful that words cannot describe it. Therefore, he used his baritone voice to express his suffering to the mountains and forests, for the whole world to hear. Also at that time, on a hillside not far away, there was an earthworm with another very painful birth defect. Worms are born with big, sad eyes but are mute. So it can see sunlight and colorful butterflies flying around, but is unable to express its joy to others. It just looks at the world with its big eyes, but the other animals pay no attention to its presence. Born without the ability to sing to express their suffering like a snake, no one knows the great suffering of an earthworm. One day in spring, an adventurous cricket came to live in the forest. It heard the snake and number 39's guttural singing, and because it was small, it saw the immense sadness appearing in the earthworm and number 39's big, sad eyes. Suddenly he came up with an idea. It waited for the snake to crawl out of the cave and finished singing the first part of the song, then said to the snake, Mr. Snake, you sing very well. You must be happy to return to the world after a long hibernation. Do you think that means my fate has changed? No, I always live in endless, endless black night. I can and number 39. T see the beautiful spring scene. I can and number 39. T see the trees blooming. I don and number 39. T see anything. The snake sadly lamented. The cricket was delighted to hear the snake say that and replied. Hey, Mr. Snake, I have been thinking about your sad plight. A person with a sensitive soul like me must deeply sympathize with his pain when listening to the song. I really want to help you, so I have this suggestion for you. But let me tell you in advance that the solution I propose is probably not easy. If you are willing to accept a big sacrifice and give up your wonderful singing voice, then I can arrange for you to have eyes to see the natural beauty in this world. What you say sounds very strange. Mr. Cricket, replied the snake, doubtfully, I will give everything I have, in exchange for my eyes. But this is very difficult, because in this world, no one is willing to sacrifice their eyes, because eyes are the most wonderful thing in this world. Everyone has their own sadness, and they let my fate is the worst in the world. Recently, while out for a walk, I met an earthworm. Looking at the immense sadness appearing in its eyes, its expressive eyes, I immediately thought to myself, the earthworm would probably be willing to exchange eyes with you. This solution helps both. He has eyes to see, and worms can speak.
Snake was skeptical, shook his head gently, and replied, I don and number 39. T know if anyone would trade their eyes for a voice? The most precious eyes in this world. As for me, I will be happy when I have eyes to see life, and even if my voice is lacking, it and number 39, s okay. Cricket reiterates that in life, everyone has their own suffering, it is difficult to know. Which suffering is greater than the other? Then it proposed to the snake that he would be willing to act as a mediator so that the worm would exchange eyes with the snake. As soon as the cricket finished making the proposal, the snake immediately accepted, the cricket quickly ran to find the worm. Dot. Meeting the sad reptile, the cricket immediately suggested, Dear Mr. Worm, seeing the indescribable sadness in your eyes, my sentimental heart was deeply moved. I stayed awake many nights thinking about how to help him. So please listen to me, I have this opinion. Are you willing to give your eyes in exchange for your voice to tell everyone you're suffering and to talk to everyone? In my opinion, after all, he has already seen this world. Hearing the cricket speak in such a strange way, the whole body trembled, the sad eyes widened even more. The cricket continued, You must have often heard the sad song of the snake in the clearing. I can imagine your mood, the mood of wanting to express your inner feelings, to confide in other animals about your suffering. So do you want to sing as well as a snake? The worm felt excited in his heart, he nodded to show his acceptance. Cricket then continued, See, you know this is not difficult. If he is willing to exchange his eyes for the snake and number 39's voice, then I think both of them will be happy, that is, if the snake is willing to exchange. To express his agreement, the worm blinks its eyelashes quickly. Making crickets shocked. Cricket continued. Obviously, convincing someone with a good singing voice to sacrifice for someone else is not an easy task, but if you allow me to act as an intermediary, I will do my best to do what you desire most. When the worm nodded in agreement, the cricket felt happy in his heart, rubbed his legs together, and said, So we have an agreement. Then, the worm and number 39's eyes lit up with joy. The cricket started to walk away, then suddenly turned around again to say, Because I acted as an intermediary for a rather difficult job, I want a small reward. The worm used its eyes to pay back. Telling the cricket that the worm agreed, the cricket continued, You know that I really like singing the voice of a snake, just once is enough. When I exchange your eyes for a snake and number 39's voice, I don and number 39. T want you to pay me anything. I just want you to lend me the snake and number 39's voice for a moment just for a moment. Whenever you want to use your voice, you just need to say one word to me and I will pay you back immediately. Looking at the worm and number 39's eyes, there was no sign of protest. The cricket immediately ran quickly to meet the snake, and just a moment later, two unfortunate animals trade precious things with each other. The snake receives the worm and number 39's big sad eyes, and the worm receives the snake and number 39's singing voice. Since they had agreed with each other, the worm let the cricket borrow the snake and number 39's singing voice for a while. I and number 39. They waited for a long time. Now it and number 39. S okay to wait a little longer. Maybe you want to try singing the song they lent you right away. The snake and number 39. S song is very long and the cricket must swallow it all quickly. In his haste to swallow the song, he lost some of his bass, 
but the song is still very good. For several days straight, the cricket sang in a high voice, and soon he became famous as an excellent singer. The more time passed, the less the cricket wanted to give back his voice. So, every now and then it runs to the earthworm to say to it in a very blatant tone, Mr. Earthworm, can I please keep my singing voice for a while longer? You don and number 39, T object, do you? Thank you very much. After saying that, it immediately disappeared. The earthworm has no voice, so it could n and hash 39. T say, and quat. Give me my singing voice and quat. It also does n and hash 39. T have eyes to look at and reprimand crickets. Because its eyes have already been given to the snake. From that day, the earthworm came to the light when he heard the cricket singing to pursue its voice. But no matter what he did, nothing worked, because he could n and hash 39. T say a word to the cricket, and the cricket ignored him as if he did n and hash 39. T see the earthworm. So, the worm digs the ground from the beginning of summer until the storm comes in the fall. It pursues the song of the cricket, then it waits in the ditches hoping that the cricket will eventually return its beautiful song. For it. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.